Hi everyone, this is David Gutenfelder. I'd like to introduce and thank the green team for this year. We have Corinne Perkins, the hardest working editor in the biz, no doubt. We have Scott McIntyre, the always on it producer, and Perry Aston, the very quick and creative tech for our team. Mostly, I'd like to thank the green team photographers. I was very moved by your hard work and your thoughtful and beautiful photography that you brought back. It really transported us to the other side of the world into your communities. And that reminded me of photography's unique power to do that. So thank you all and enjoy the show. Dear Dad, I want to thank you for trusting me to tell your story. In two months you will leave the Istringhausen company before you retire. In the beginning I wanted to show that you started as a welder and now wholly work on the unit council. I am proud that you were the first migrant, a so-called Russian German, who had reached such a position in this company with 1,700 employees. But I realized that I wanted to tell so much more. So where should I start telling my father's story? Does the story begin that our family belonged to a small ethnic minority of Germans in the Soviet Union? Or is this part unimportant? You often said to us six children, when you meet someone, never forget, we are all human beings and you never know what the other person has already experienced in life. As a child, I couldn't understand what you meant by the second sentence. Today I know, your story is also a story of discrimination, deportation, but also of resilience. In August 1988, secretly at night, we left Kyrgyzstan, then part of the Soviet Union, with a lot of hope for a better life. But in Germany, a different reality caught up with us at first. 
Here too, we belong to a minority. Although about two and a half million Russian Germans immigrated to Germany, our collective narrative was unknown here. On the contrary, we experienced new prejudices and stigmatization. At school, I quickly learned that only one thing counted above all, to speak German without any accent. While you worked physically hard at Isringhausen, we kids learned how to adapt and speak German fluently. The statistics show that good education in Germany is hardly possible for children from the working class or with the migration background. Thank you, Daddy. You endured a lot to allow us a good education. You paved the way not only for your children, but also for your grandchildren. Mi ricordo che comunque in macchina, cioè era proprio, vedevi tutto, cioè passavi proprio paesi dilaniati, capito? Sembrava la fine del mondo, sembrava post apocalittico ma la fine del mondo perché comunque il terremoto ha preso una, un'intera, diciamo, cioè provincia no, perché comunque la quella è grande essendo grande, ma ha preso un intero cratere, cioè è il cratere dove viviamo noi, c'è cioè l'Aquila e tanti 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 paesini cioè quindi sembrava veramente post apocalittico oppure una catastrofe dopo una catastrofe cioè non è che ha preso un paesino una piccola cittadina tu cioè proprio passavi nelle strade e vedevi tutto c'era cioè, un, un non lo so case proprio bucate come se avessero dato una cannonata cioè case diciamo cioè, a metà cioè cose assurde Ogni tanto che passavano gli anni mi veniva il pensiero, cavolo ho fatto un anno fa, pure già stiamo facendo qualcos'altro che non era quel periodo. Due anni, tre, stessa cosa, guarda, piano piano, lo vedi, c'è cioè, qualche, qualche locale in centro in una zona dove non essendo terremotava riapriva, capito? Cioè si sono adattati anche nel commercio. Il cambiamento fondamentalmente non è che io lo vedevo giornalmente, cioè non è che pensavo, ma no, no eh, io me la vedevo dalla giornata, non lo so, era una sensazione come viversi alla giornata. Il vivere alla giornata non è neanche tipico della nostra, delle nostre, della, della nostra Italia, della nostra terra, no. Vivere la giornata come se fosse l'ultima, così è il pensiero mio perché dopo una tragedia del genere la devi vivere come se fosse l'ultima, a pieno. <susurra> 